Welcome back, everyone, to the Unified Advanced League winners interviews here in week number two of the season here in 2022. Of course, I'm your host, Orbital, and we'll be taking and talking to a few members of the LCS or Homeless squad after their victory over Bethany Esports Black. It was very convincing 2 0. So let's go ahead and get a little bit of insight into the, how their 2 0 victory came about. We go with the interview of the LCS or Homeless squad yes, from sir. the week two uh, UAL broadcasted uh, series here, of course. We got uh, 40 and Nova 40. If you want to go ahead, introduce yourself, your role on the team, and a little bit about yourself. Uh, this is 40, aka Little Ghoul, aka uh, Best Jungler North America, aka uh, Up and Coming SoundCloud rapper. Uh, all you, Nova. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, I'm Nova. I've been in the amateur scene for a while. Um, I've kind of been a player here and there, mostly subbing for the rosters that I, you know, coach. Um, but this is the first time where I'm like a player mainly. So, yeah, excited to be here. <laughs> mm. And it was a fantastic series, of course. This week two victory over Bethany Esports of Black was one to be had. It was a 2-0 victory, and both of you were pretty much at the focal here. 40, uh, hey. you in the jungle had some fantastic plays here. I just want to kind of get your thoughts because game one was a little bit rampant. Game two, you almost died at the very end. I mean, yes. how are you feeling mm -hmm. after that victory? Pretty solid, or were uh, you a little bit, a little bit worried? No, we're feeling fantastic. Compared to our, uh, our first little series we had, uh, it didn't go too well, but... After this one, I'm feeling very confident about our up, uh, upcoming games. So, All feeling right. very good. Yeah, you got a huge, uh, huge league ahead of you, right? I think another three or four weeks of games, and I think that's kind of crazy to think about. I know you had a couple role swaps in there as well. These players were listed as mm. other roles, and now kind of swapping in. <laughs> I mean, has that kind of affected you? Uh, were you one of the role swap uh, people, or were you kind of still in the jungle pool there? <laughs> Now, I'm always a uh, one-trick jungle, but uh, we had our Dangerous Uncle swap from AD Care to top lane, which I think was a, a very good swap, considering Tringver is a support main, so mm. rock solid in the bot lane. 100%. And uh, for you, Nova, of course, it was a phenomenal time. I know you were talking about a little bit about how you've been around the scene, bringing that experience to a team itself. It sounds like you're pretty established here with this squad. How's it feel to be able to take a 2-0? Was it pretty difficult? I mean, or has it been pretty easy working with this crew? Yeah, they're just drones, so <laughs> okay. they, they they do, you know, whatever it is that I tell them, um, so it, it, it works really well. I mean, we're all friends, and, and I've always said, ever since I joined the amateur scene, like, it's always way easier to start a team when people on the team, like the players themselves, know each other and, like, have good relationships already, so it, it's it's really easy for us to just kind of play the game and, and you know, make things happen. Yeah, let's dive into it a little bit as well. Game number one uh, saw you guys pick up a very standardized composition. And the reason I want to bring this up is because, 40, you are on uh, one of the rougher ends of this. Your top laner, as you said, the lane swapped ADC, <laughs> had a little bit of fun with the Orn. We noticed a, a couple bit, of missed yeah. shots. Is that something <laughs> that you practiced? Because not only was it missing a lot of holes, <laughs> you did not traverse up there at all. <laughs> oh, never, ever. Uh-uh. No, that was uh, Dangerous Uncle's second time Orn ever, so... <laughs> We said, all right, we're going to put him on an island up there and uh, pray to God he holds it down. And, uh, and he did. So very happy with it. Yeah, it was. It, it worked at the end of the day, right? Oh. Uh, a, mm -hmm. a couple interesting team fights, of course. A little bit of the middle ground, the early game, has always kind of shaped up interestingly well. Tringver getting both first bloods in the early stages. However, mm -hmm. it did seem Bethany Black did have a little bit of a handle in the rest of the lanes. Is that something that your team is still showing out? Is that something that your uh, that your squad LCS or Homeless are still working on? Or uh, did you just feel Bethany played a little bit better on the day? Uh, well, I think it was just uh, our lane swaps kind of got us uh, a little bit uneasy during mm -hmm. the first game because this was the first time that we did the swap. But second game, I think it finally settled in and uh, oh yeah, you know, kind of finally <laughs> came together. It did. You guys, again, mm. the team fights at the end were spectacular, uh, especially for Dangerous Uncle. That jump in with the cannon <laughs> was was groundbreaking, I have to say. It was the mm. glorious way to end off the series. Now, to get into it, though, it felt a little bit personal. Some of the dancing coming from uh, from uh, Dangerous Uncle in the top side. Let's talk about it, because uh, it sounds like a lot of your group uh, for both you, Forty and Nova, both you guys have a mm. lot of friends across both sides. Yeah, the enemy jungler, I was uh, getting a little bit harassed by in the, in the, in the discords, <laughs> but it feels real good to put him in the dirt, put him in his place. Oh. And of course, uh, Nova, you were talking a little bit uh, before this all about the fact that uh, you do actually have one of the members that's actually also working with Bethany Esports a little bit, uh, bringing a little bit of their knowledge to the game as well. 
Yeah, I mean, it's funny. You know, Trevor was originally playing top lane, and when he found out he was playing up against these guys, he was like, all right, just put me ADC. He's like, I can't <laughs> I can't lose these guys, you know. Um, Trevor works pretty hand-in-hand -hand with the Bethany boys, so he knew if he mm. lost to the B team, there was no way that they are going to let him get away with that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, he put on his tryhard pants. He did well. Mm. I, I think the tryhard pants speaks very, very well. It was 10-0-2 at the end of the second game. Uh, only reason that they fell, or only reason Tringver did fall at the end, was because of that unfortunate, you know, little dance for the KDA, <laughs> right? Uh, looking forward, I want to get both of your ideas here, because again, a lot of great teams, both uh, your team starting out at 0-1, now at 1-1, solidifying yourself mm. at the middle of the pack. How do you feel tra uh, traveling forward? Do you feel like you guys are on the up and up? Do you think it was, you know, that week one jitters that had you lose the series? Or uh, kind of mm. what's going through your mind there as you look forward? I think we were definitely a little bit nervous for our first little series. But uh, with this game put in, uh, set in stone, I feel like uh, we're all very confident moving on. So I'm very excited to see what we can do. Yeah. And your thoughts, Nova? Yeah. Um, first week was just a fluke, to be honest. <laughs> like, yeah, we don't we don't scrim. Like, this is really something that somebody put together just because they wanted to just watch content. Like, they they just knew it was just gonna be a whole bunch of laughs. So, um, you know, once we got the first week over with, and, and you know, obviously we solidified everyone on their roles. So yeah, we're we'll win moving forward. All right. Mm. All right. Now, uh, I do have to ask final question here for you, Forty. We saw the mm. Shaco ban two times in a row. We heard it was a little bit, a little bit of a rude ban here. What, what was the talks there? Was that the respect of uh, the background, or were you, were you kind of talking trash back? Now the funny thing is, uh, I do not play Shaco, so uh, <laughs> I don't know why they were banning. I play the Viego, but I, I have no games on Shaco. I have zero games played on Shaco ever, so uh, it's a bit of a mystery to me, honestly. But uh, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe you get the Shaco later on, you face them up again, mm. and uh, you pull it out in the playoffs and really ruin their days there. Uh, <laughs> that sounds like a fantastic time. Of course, Forty and mm. Nova, thank you so much for the interview. Starting with you, yes, Nova, sir. do you have any parting words, any final shout-outs, or any uh, little jabs at some of your opponents here this week? No, I really want to shout out Gurgos. He's a huge supporter yes. of the team. Yes. Um, he's really somebody who's just kind of been there for the team. Mm. So um, really appreciate Gurgos for everything that he's doing. Um, Ion, definitely appreciate Ion because he was the, the person who put this together for content. Um, no thank yous to Kanki. He does absolutely mm -hmm. nothing. nothing. Um, and then IU. Yes, I love you, IU. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. All the love there. All righty. And Forty, for your thoughts as well, uh, again, after that victory, any any final parting thoughts here? Uh, <clears throat> well, first off, get shitted on, Graham. You, uh, <laughs> you, talked, hey, you talked a lot of smack, but uh, still took that O2, so... <laughs> Feels real good. <laughs> Not even a game left a chance. That was the best part uh -uh. about it all. Oh, it's 2-0. Uh, Perfect. Flawless run. You know, we don't worry about the missed or an ults or any of the you know rough <laughs> times there. Again, congratulations oh, to both of you, 40 and Nova. And thank you so much for I the do. interview. Thank you. Yes, sir.